Hey guys, thanks for coming in here. Give a few minutes, get a few more. Ten people to get in here. I'll hang out for a little bit. I got some cool stuff for an auction. 1927 SLQ. And I got this super, super nice Liberty. Look at the hair defined. And it's a 1904. Oh, New Orleans Mint. And look at the wingtips and the breast feathers. That is nice. <clears throat> and everything I, I often does include shipping. Coin Captain. Hey, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. This one here is blast white. You ever see one like this? I mean, look at that. The wingtips, the breast feathers. Super, super nice. And then I got a 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. This one here is Philadelphia Mint. That one's nice. No, that's a Denver. Sorry, that's Denver Mint. So, yeah, I'll wait for a few more people to get in here. And I got... Uh, 1909 VDB penny. And you can see the VDB there on the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit. Take a look. You can see it right there. And I don't clean coins at all, but you see the VDB there at the bottom. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't clean my coins at all and then we got several uh estimate pennies so here's a 1952 s If you guys want to get serious, I've got a 2021 ASC American Silver Eagle. And I can switch cameras and show this on the HD camera. For the SLQ. Do a starting bid at 17, including ship on that. Yeah, the 2021 ASCs they don't they don't make them anymore. I, I mean, they, they made them, but now there's no more of them that you could probably get unless you get them through a dealer or somebody like me. Yeah, the 2021 ASCs, they hold a, a premium over the silver spot quite a bit. But on the ASCs, I'll switch cameras here and I'll show you a little closer up. Here's a 2021 ASC. If you can see that, I don't want to take them out of the plastic. Yeah, these are super, super nice. 2021 American Silver Eagle. I've got two of them, as a matter of fact. And I probably would make a deal if somebody wanted to buy both of them. So we'll see how it goes. We get some more people in here. And yeah, that 1904 Morgan. 
New Orleans is I don't know if you know about Morgan's or not, but this one is really, really nice. You can see we well, can see the camera in the background. And this one it's not polished, it's not clean, it's it's just a nineteen oh Morgan that has been taken care of. It's probably the first time this one's seen daylight in a long time. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to it's hard to start an auction with nobody in here, but Dolls Dolly, hey, how's it going? Oh look what I got a uh, jelly bean. Some midi bacon flavor treats. And then I got some small tennis balls. And then I got uh well got this little thing here. It's got the tail on it. And then I got some pink uh, tennis balls since you know she is a girl. I got those. I'll be sending out tomorrow along with your uh, will that you won too. So, see, I picked up some stuff today. I pulled some stuff out of the <clears throat> the chest in there, and I've got. Two of these 2021 Morgan Silver Dollars. And these, yeah, she will love that. I got two of those. And then you won't believe this 1904 oh, Morgan Silver Dollar I got. This thing is blast white. I kind of don't want to sell it, but if I do, I do. I thought about getting it sent in to get graded. They want to hoard the ASEs. Yeah. Well, now's the wrong time to buy them because the premium is so high. And I got I got these two. I get forty dollars for both of them, which is, you know, it's not a bad price. But you know, I can do forty-five ship on one of them, buy it now, or I can do both of them for eighty-five ship. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about getting graded. Now's the time to hold what you got. All right. Yeah, silver price is going to go up. It's just a matter of when. Then I got some one gram bars. I sold some of these tonight. The silver stockpile is getting smaller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope a jelly bean will be uh, excited. She will, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's the. Because I went into the, uh, the pet store there in Paducah, 
Well, the, they didn't have ferret food. <laughs> so I went to the other store. They had three ounces of this. Which is cool. And then I already showed you I got the, the tennis balls. Small tennis balls. And then I got the little... It's called a cat toy, but got that for her. I think she'll enjoy that. Nick Moner, hey, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in here. So I'll switch back to the other scope, and uh, we can try to have an auction if you guys want to. And I'll just have to start the bid at where I can sell it at, even though there's only a few people in here. But this one here is a 1904 New Orleans O mint. And I've not seen a better one of these in a long time. And on the back, it's blast white. Let me pull up the coin scope and show you guys the breast feathers and the tail feathers. But I would have to do a starting bid at 60 on this. I mean, you won't find, like, look at the breast, the eagle's eye, the claw. The wingtips. And I don't clean coins. I don't know if there's a safe way to do it. But this one, there's really no cleaning needed to it. I mean, it is just blast white. Mirrored image. So if there's any interest in that, it would be starting bid at 60. I can switch again and show it again on the other camera. Yeah, I can see I can see the the camera in the background of this one. 19040 and there was only three point, what was it, three million minted? So yeah, that's a super, super nice Morgan there. Yeah, it's a nice Morgan. If I don't sell it, I'll probably send it in to get graded for sure. Let me flip over here and I got a couple other. Uh, everybody loves the ladies. I do. This is a 1921 P Philadelphia Morgan. Nick Monar, you need to be a guest. What do you mean, Nick? I'll come on your panel and show some stuff. That's 1921P. I would do a starting bid at 45 in that ship. Right. This one here is super nice, too. And if anybody wants to bid, I do PayPal and I do Cash App as well. And uh, just send me an email. It's there at the bottom of the screen, timstoms at mail.com. Yeah, the 1921P, it's, it's 45 ship. This one here would be Dolly.
And then I got a 1884. Really nice too. And a lot of the stuff I got from my grandpa, great grandpa, some of his collection. I must, I'm just trying to upgrade my uh, computer situation. And I've, I've sold a lot, but, and it's a lot better, so. But it does help. In 1884, it'll be 45 ship too as well by it now. Y'all can go ahead and look it up. Look up this 1904 uncirculated, pretty much MS state. And if you bought this one, I would definitely get it graded. You had to get yourself in trouble with these coins. Yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. If there's no interest. We can pass on those. And uh, I got, let me switch back to the coin scope. I got a 1909 VDB penny. And this one is AU. And like I said, I don't I don't clean my coins, but you see down there at the bottom, it has the VDB. And I believe that's the first week sent for the Lincoln era. You're looking them up. All right, take your time. Nineteen o four o, and if you know your grades, look at the hair, <laughs> the details in the hair. And the back is blast white, if you know what that means. Mountain of Coin Accord. Hey, good to see you. Well, we're doing an auction here. Starting bid, this one here is a 1904 O. You see the old mint mark there at the bottom. And that's New Orleans mint. And there was only 3.7 million of these minted. And we're going to do a starting auction bid at $60, including shipping. I can change the camera here and show you. This thing is mirrored. It is very, very nice. And uh, I won't be upset if I don't get rid of it. Because if I don't, I'm going to send this one in to get graded. I mean, you've guys seen Morgan Silver Dollars. This one here has very few bag marks. Because they come out in bags back then. Bags of Silver Dollars. And you see the wingtips and the breast feathers. They're not wore down at all. So this one here is almost uncirculated. MS. I'll go back to the coin scope. Y'all can see the feathers for yourself. And the talons on the eagle. You won't find many mortars with this, the feathers on the chest like this, not rubbed off, and on the wingtips. So that should say something in itself. If you guys know about coins. <laughs>
But that shield, look at that shield. You won't find many with those lines at all. And then I got two of these, the 2021 American Silver Eagle. And then not sure if you guys ever seen the one gram bars, silver bars. I've got a few of those and the three nines fine silver. If I wasn't already for the big coin auctions, I'm attending already this week. I'd buy them and try to buy a scope to use on my channel this week. Right? Coin auctions locally. Right. Yeah, she's a beauty. Full liberty. This is actually the first one I've seen with that detail in the hair. Like, I'll compare it to this one. That one there, 1904, and then the 1884. You see how it's kind of around the band. But then go to that one and look at that one. Yeah, that coin has not been circulated. Maybe already sold. I don't know. That would be cool. This one here, Canadian coin, uncirculated. And it's got the maple leaf with the reefs going around the side. Super nice, super nice. Hey, Stash, how's it going? Good to see you. So yeah, we got some cool stuff. I was kind of showing off. Yeah, I don't get a whole lot of people in here, so I, it's hard to get an option with, you know, only a few in here. But I got three Morgans, 1904. And she is, this lady is a beauty. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing off my Morgans. But I mean, have you ever seen one? <laughs> Especially a 1904 old New Orleans Morgan with the breast feathers that's not wore off and the tips of the wings. It's nice. Yeah, I'll show them a few of these Morgans here. But I don't mind if I sell this one. I will send this one in to get graded. Pretty much doing a show and tell. <laughs> kind of bragging a little bit, you know. But look at that. You can see the eyeball on the eagle. Look at that. I just like looking at it myself. <laughs> Tail feathers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Yeah, I better put that baby up. <laughs> SLQ. 1927. I almost bought some wax packs today, Dolly. They were really cheap. I was going to send them to you, but I didn't get around to get them. It started pouring down rain. Then we had to leave. And, but yeah, it was a, a garage sale we went to. Then I got a few of the ASCs 2021. They quit making these. I'll just go ahead and take this one out. But she is a beauty. Twenty twenty one American Silver Eagle. First time it's been touched by naked hands. <laughs> but isn't that nice? Does anybody know who the designer initials is right there? Jay? Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Had to go to the bathroom. It's Jay Morgan, right?
Yeah, but I can't believe the premium on the ASCs. They're fourteen dollars over spot. I guess that's the way it's going to be for a while. It's crazy. There's the painted. Yeah, I know it is. <clears throat> Let me see what else I can show you guys. I got a few. Well, I got a few more mortgages. I'm going to have an auction, so I guess I can do a show and tell. <laughs> $18.91. New Orleans. This one here has got some toning. It's super nice. It's a eighteen ninety. Philadelphia. And this is the only piece dollar I have. It's a 21, I believe. No, this one's 22. But. Interesting. Yeah, no, I can't believe they're selling ASCs for fourteen dollars over spot. And that, I mean, that's just crazy. That's the way it's going to be for a while. Silver's going to go back up. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. So let's let's do an auction. You guys want to have fun? I'm all about having fun. Let me get this guy out, and uh, we'll just do a starting bid at one dollar, including ship. One gram. Three nines fine silver. Starting bid one dollar, including ship. There's the back of it. Just a one gram silver bar. One dollar starting bid. Oh, there we go, finally. <laughs> Great Scott stash. All right, finally. Good grief. These things sell for a lot more than $1. Yes, including shipping, yes. I'll put a stamp on it and mail it. So we got stash at $1. Great Scott at $1. Coin Captain at 2 There we go. Now we got a finally got an auction going. Coin Captain at two. You'll steal it for two bucks. <laughs> and then you see my email there at the bottom of the screen, Tim's at mail.com. I do PayPal and I do Cash App. So Coin Captain at two dollars going once. Dollars, dollars, I lose very quickly. 
Right, just couldn't pass it up. Yeah, for one dollar, I'm just having fun. Coin captain going twice. I better write your name down. All right, stash is out. All right, sold. The coin captain. Two dollars. Sweet. Good pickup, man. Yeah, make sure you send me an email. Tim's Tom's at mail.com. It's at the bottom of the screen there. All right, brother. I got you wrote down. Yeah, congrats, Coin Captain. The 1927 SLQ. The starting bid at one dollar, including ship. A nineteen twenty seven starting bid at one dollar, including shipping. <laughs> Guys should jump all over that. Stash, LOL. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Trying to get some stuff away, basically. <laughs> Dollars, dollar at one dollar. Stash at one dollar. Coin captain at ten. You know, this is my favorite quarter, I believe. I had some better ones. I do, but stashes out. Dollar dollar, you can't pass that one up. What's funny, it says, in God we T R V S T. <laughs> in God we trust, but. All right, coin captain, we'll count it down. $10 going once. Going twice. $10 at coin captain. So I'll go ahead and sell it. So the coin captain. $10. And there's my email. I do PayPal or Cash App at Tim's at mail.com. Send me an email. And that is yours, brother. Wow. Where'd he go? Nice pickup. Nice pickup. So what are you guys interested in? We did the one gram bar, silver bar, the 1927 SLQ. 
bright. Yeah, they do. Usually they're wore off at the bottom. But coin cap, you got a good one right there. You can totally see it. Nineteen oh nine. It's a VDB. If there's any interest in that. All right, well, let's go ahead and have fun. Let's do uh let's do this one right here. A Morgan Silver Dollar. What are you doing, Stash? One dollar on what? Hold up. I'm not sure what Stash is doing. Put a one on something. On the S, LOL. <clears throat> no, I didn't show an S. It was just a 1909 VDB. It's not an S. And it's not a starting bid at a dollar, sorry. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Yeah, no, it's 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 not even the S VDB. It's just a nineteen oh nine VDB. Here we got a nineteen twenty one Morgan silver dollar. Full read in the headband, Liberty. No, I wish I had a uh, S 1909 VDB. Right. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> 1921 Denver. Morgan Silver Dollar. Still starting bid at thirty five dollars. And this lady is purdy. Dog is going crazy outside. Is that an M on her neck? Yeah, it looks like an M. Not sure what that means, though. She got a hem on her neck. 1921. Yeah, it is. It's a sucker bite. <laughs> it might be. Rattle trap. Hey, brother, what's going on? Good to see you.
Yeah, I was just kind of doing a show and tell. Maybe get an auction on some of my uh, ladies here. But isn't she beautiful? Look at those eyes. Look at the lips. She's a pretty thing. And 90% silver. Look at the eagle. Wing tips. The breast. This one is uh, every bit of a BS. No, it's not coming to you. You can bid on it if you want. <laughs> and I'll just give it away. I starting bid $35 ship. That's what I that's what I can do just to give it away basically. And 90% silver. No, rattle trap. That's not coming to you. I don't know what the other one you, you didn't get. I got everything I sent has a tracking number. Hey, I did get some cool stickers today in the mail. Yeah, that is a great deal. Let me change the mic here. Or the camera and show you guys. I got a big flip. Coaster in the mail today, and I also got a uh, Found It Buried sticker. And Found It Buried sent me, I don't even know why, but sent me these silver Canadians. Quite a few in there. Try to show it closer. So that was pretty cool for George to do that. The half dollar you said it was it was one. He was wondering if it came up. He had left one. That time never went out. Okay, might have been. I'm not sure. John Chum. Yeah, I thought they were silver. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about Canadian Canadian coinage. I do know about uh Ferret food now. These are treats. <laughs> it was funny. My wife was with me. I walked in the store. I said, I need some treats for Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean needs some treats. <laughs> and so this one here is the bacon flavor. They had chicken. I said, oh, yeah, it's got to be the bacon. Got to be the bacon flavored. Gotta have the bacon, right? And here's another one uh, John Chum can't even get, and he lives in Canada. 
Isn't that a beaut? Jelly Bean will love it. Well, good. I hope he does. Or she does, sorry. Twenty twenty one ASC. <clears throat> Y'all don't want to bid on none of these? Am I going to do a show and tell? And what's funny, I used to live in the home town of Metropolis, but I did get this. Let me switch the camera so you can see it better. Superman coin. I need to get some gloves. This is four nines fine silver, and it's got the maple leaf on it. Try to show that to you guys. Isn't that awesome? So it's a 2016 $5 Queen Elizabeth II. And that baby is a beautiful coin. A beauty, beauty, beauty. Let me slip her back down in there. Yeah, and that's one out silver. These are kind of hard to find, but these are W, West Point Mint V75 quarters. And this one here is the Salt River Bay. There's another Salt River Bay, and it's the V75, the 75th anniversary of World War II. Y'all can see that. Yep. Another one I found is the V75 Philadelphia Ware Farms. What's the start bid on what? Which one? Mm 
And then we have the last quarter for America's National Park. It's the Tuskegee Airmen. He's just showing and telling right now. <laughs> the starting bid on the 1904 Morgan will be $60, including ship. And it is a uh, old mint, New Orleans. If you want that one, it's sixty dollars, and that includes shipping as well. But I can go back to the coin scope, or I can switch over here and show my face and say, "Hey guys, hey, bait the hook. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate everybody. Yeah, got jelly beans set up." We got the bacon flavored. We got the, like you said, the small tennis balls. Dolls dolly. And uh, we got the little, well, this is the cat toy. It's got the rattle in it. But that will be coming to you Monday. And then, of course, with your uh, the win on the giveaway, too. So I'll. Uh, he said he wants to bid bid on what, Rattletrap? Yeah, you're welcome, Dolly. No problem. He said he wants bids. Well, what do you want to, what do you want to bid on? What do you mean? He said he want bids. <laughs> Rattle trip. These are one ounce silver, twenty twenty one ASC. They don't make them no more. We got some Morgan silver dollars. This one here, I'm basically giving away. The 1884. Oh, okay. Well, I can. I'll leave. Uh, well, I can. If you guys want to come up on panel, we can. I will share it right now. There you go. Anybody wants to come up and say hey or talk about the weather or the anything, you, you guys are welcome. You know I'm a nice guy. I don't mind anybody coming up. But yeah, you won't believe the, this one here. Oh, that's my favorite coin. And basically, yeah, doing show and tell. I'm not going to get rid of it at all. <laughs> but you should see this silver proof set I got. Oh, I'll show you real quick. And the reason I bought this one is because it's the 2020 United States Mint. Because I've been doing a, a folder for the America the Beautiful. And it comes with the COA. Try to show that. You may not be able to see it. But it has. This is what I like about it. And these are all the S mint. So these all are silver. 
Got to get the light out so y'all can see it. But it has the tall grass, American Samoa, Marsh Billings, uh, the Ware Farm National Park of Art, and the Salt River Bay. Let me switch cameras. It's hard to show it. Yeah, it's a nice coin set. That may be a little better. But you can see the quarters you normally see and change. Marsh Billings, Tallgrass Prairie, Samoa. Yeah, that's a that's a nice set. I won't I won't get rid of that one. Because I like it. I like it. Well, the silver composition, I believe, is, it's almost 100. It's 99.9. grams each. Yeah, there's the back of it. Some people call that American Samoa the COVID coin, the back coin, but it's not what it is. Yeah, well, these are cool. I've been trying to finish a photo from 2010 to 2021 of the America, the beautiful program. I got about five coins left to finish it up. And I'm sure most of you know a Bell's Dead, a.k.a. Phil, sent me several quarters to try to help me. But th this one here, the Silver Mercury Dime Mint Mark Collection, I won't get rid of. This one here, the Denver Mint, it's rainbow toned. I probably can't show it to you guys right there, but it has all the colors. The right strapping. Hey, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. But this is a silver Mercury Dime Mint Mark collection, and it tells about all the years in the history. But oh, good luck, guys. The heart monitor is off. I mailed it in Tuesday, and they're going to check it out and maybe see what's going on with me. Hopefully nothing. But I do have to get a, a 3D echo done, an image done at the doctor's. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's probably nothing. But I did get a few flutters, and I felt light and dizzy. And since my mom died, you know, from a massive heart attack at the age of 44, my wife was like, yeah, Tim, you probably should go get checked because I'm her asset, you know. 
she wants to take care of me, so. <laughs> but yeah, everything should be all right. We're hoping so. We got the church praying and all that, so. I think everything will be all right. Not doing good, major migraine again. I must be a troll. I have no wrench. Oh, well. <laughs> All No, Stash, you'll get a wrench. Keep coming in here. You'll get a wrench, brother. I promise you. You never know about those trolls. And that's the trouble. If you got a lot of subscribers and you give out a lot of riches, that can hurt you in, in, in the long run. That's just what I've seen from other YouTube channels. Because what happens, and I'll be honest with you guys, you guys want to know the truth, the 100% truth. Some people will get jealous. And you give them a wrench, and they'll start timing out people on your stream. And that's them being, being them. You know, you know what I mean? Because like I'm live right now, right? I got three, four people watching. That's it. But when another stream sees other channels get more streams with people watching, and so yeah, you kind of got to be careful who you give a, a wrench to. Howdy, rattle trap fishing. I've been looking for y'all all night. No live tonight. I mean, I'll just be honest with you guys. I mean, this is me. It's bake the hook. It's a coin gardening fishing and that that's just me you know i do a little bit of uh, all three and so it will be hard to change i thought about changing my channel to you know something else you know like bait the hook coins bait the hook gardening bait the hook but i'm just going to do a variety and if anybody wants tomato seeds make sure you send me an email tim's toms at mail of course, Tim's Tom's tomatoes, Tim's Tom's tomatoes, our girl competition uh, tomatoes. And I have the state record for a long gourd as well. I still have seeds from that. If you want some, send me an email. Um, if you like coins, you want to get on the giveaway wheel, we do that as well. We just have a good time in here and everybody just chats and has a good time. We like to meet and greet other people and just have fun. I'm not a big, big, big channel, but I enjoy the people I do that come in here. It asks for trouble for everyone. You have wrenches. You're right about that. But the hook, it happened. It happened on my channel. Yeah, it does. It does because some people get jealous, you know, I don't think people get jealous of me because I don't, you know, I'm not, I got 1.5k subs, but most of them are dead. So not a lot of them come in, but if I had 50 or 60 people come in here and was monetized and got super chats, you know, on, on top of super chats and yeah, a lot of people, that's just the way it is. You know, people get jealous and it sucks. It shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is.
Yeah, I know everybody wants to get monetized. They want to get that 4K watch hours. But here's what happens when you when you do get them. You get the 4K watch hours. All right, so listen. Here's what happens. You get monetized. You get ad revenue. <clears throat> but there's going to be a lot of haters out there. And that's good. You're doing something right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I know there's some channels that make they make fifteen hundred dollars a night YouTubing, just going on live on YouTube, and they make fifteen hundred bucks every night. They go live, which is awesome. Everybody wants to get there. But first, you got to get your four thousand watch hours. I think, Dolly, I don't think you're monetized yet, right? <clears throat> you're halfway to 1,000 subs. Do you have your watch hours? Because YouTube changed it from 2K to 4K. Now it used to be 2,000 hours. In 365 days, now it's 4,000. So I'm back. My phone died. Yeah. So I mean, YouTube. It is a business platform where people can make money. Oh, you have your watch hours, so you do have 4K or better. Yeah. <clears throat> your subscriber count should. And that's better for you, Dolly, because you have your watch hours and your subscribers will come eventually. And I'll, I'll keep helping you. I'll keep sharing out. But what I was saying, YouTube is a business platform. Some people will get monetized. Most of us will never get monetized. You know, I mean, that, that's just how YouTube works. Once you get to so many subs, they'll take 20 back. You'll gain two. They'll take 30 back. You'll gain 10. But my advice to everybody on here that wants to YouTube and get monetized is just keep putting out content, 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 content. And me, I'm not classified as a live streamer, but even though I do lives, I put out videos as well, or short videos, you know, hashtag shorts. Any video less than one minute, tag it, hashtag shorts, like take your phone, and I, I have an Android, just hold it straight up, straight up and down, don't turn it sideways, get the 16 by 9 format, and record a video. And upload it and do hashtag shorts. You know, these one less than one minute videos has helped me a lot. I'll get a thousand views, two thousand views, but you know, your watch time in there can be, you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. You know, your, your click through rate. So, I mean, that does help. Does not count after watching two times. Well, I don't know about that because I've had on my short videos, I think it does count. And when you do your shorts, you never know when YouTube will show that video and it'll, it'll just pick up. Like overnight, you may get 700 views overnight. And then the next night it may get none, but then YouTube may suggest it again, and then you'll get 700 more views. Well, Dolly, I'm not, I'm not monetized either, but I don't, I don't have, I can't do shorts either, but I do them anyway. I do. I tag them hashtag shorts, and you can go back and look at some of my videos, and they will recognize you as a short video I'll just try one just to try it and tag it hashtag shorts and put in the title and description 
and see what happens. Yeah, they, yeah, they say you can't do short videos unless, you know, you, you have over 1,000 subscribers. But I would try it and see what happens. Because YouTube is looking for something different. A lot of people like the rights trapping. They do trapping videos, and the rights trapping has a great channel. I mean, he could go in there and edit, and his channel looks golden. It looks beautiful. But YouTube is trying to pick up something different. <clears throat> Whether it's fishing, which has a lot of a lot of competitive and trapping, a lot of competition too. Coins, not so much. Uh, auctions. Buy and sell, not so much either. Yeah, I mean, you can only watch your videos once, but every time I go on my YouTube, it pulls up my suggested video for my channel, which is And that's the one, I don't know if you guys see that or not, but it's yeah, bait the hook, and it's it's upload that comes on when you come on my channel. Well, yeah, if you only watch your video once, you can only watch it once, but yeah. But do you have suggested channels? Like, Dallas, I don't think you have a YouTube studio, right? Right, I do a mix of things because it's so much fun even doing a paranormal. Yeah. Well, my suggestion to everybody is to just do content, content, content. And even if your video makes 10 cents, 20 cents, or dollar and 30 cents, well, if you have a thousand videos that makes a dollar every month, that's a thousand dollars a month. So that's why it's important to keep putting the videos out, keep putting the videos out. Content, content, content. That's just my opinion. Doesn't it stash? Yeah, everybody leave me a comment. Thanks for coming in here. And if y'all can share this live stream out. We'll get some more people coming in here. Hope everybody had a great day. Hold on. I just got a message. Let me see if I can share this out, guys. Share this out. Share the stream out. Let's get the party rocking. Let me see if we can do something here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
one second. All right, give me one second. All right, who we got in the house? Dolls, Dolly, Rats, Trap, and Stash. I think I'm having technical difficulties. Let's see here. Dolls Alley. Yeah. No, all right, guys, let me know if you share me out. I'm going to try to share some channels tonight, too. It's been a while since I've been on, but I tell you what, I thank everybody for coming in here. The right strapping, good to see you. Dolls Dolly, thanks for coming in. It don't take but a second. You guys check each other out. Let's rock out some channels. We got five people in the chat. Five thumbs up. Let's rock the channel out, guys. Come on. Let's share it. A sign of the stroke. Okay, thanks, Tim. Take care, all stash. All right, I appreciate everybody coming in here. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Share the app on other platforms. Thank you, Dolls Dolly. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in here. All right, let's share it out. Trying to do a good auction. Yeah, for right, it's a sign. Yeah. All right, let me see what I can do. Let me get some stuff started here for you guys. All right, we got Stash in the house. Dolls Dolly, thanks for coming in here. Oh, these are some amazing channels in here tonight. Stash, Dolls Dolly, you guys check each other out. The right strapping, thanks for coming in. And uh, me and Dolls Dolly, we've got big things about to happen. You guys stay tuned. <clears throat> I'm a nurse by day. Uh, how are you, doll? I didn't know that. Guys, if you haven't hit that like yet, please hit it for me. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on with rice? Yeah, I mean, that could be a sign. I mean, I, I took medical school as well. Your head's going to blow up and you're so dizzy, your blood pressure is up. 150 over 92. Now, I wouldn't go to the hospital. I would sit down and breathe, maybe checking again. The right strap and work. Where are you? Where are you checking your blood pressure at? Like at home?
Well, then you know your signs and symptoms. You should know that easily. <laughs> Are you taking any any uh, blood pressure medicine? Like Topro or a, any like Lisinopril or... No, don't drink water. <laughs> water will raise your blood pressure. The more liquid you drink will raise it up. Maybe I'm wrong. I would go to the VA, but I can't wear a mask, so I can't go. Why can't you wear a mask? Is your pulse ox down or what? Actually, it brings it down. Yeah, maybe it does. All right, well, we can talk about this. Look, I'll share the panel link here. Yeah, I got high blood pressure problems and was taking pills, but the doctor said to stop them for now. I wonder why. I'd, I wonder why he done that. Yeah, it brings it down because it thins out the blood and helps the blood to flow. Hmm. Well, I was taught that the more you drink, the more it raises your blood pressure. And I may be wrong. It's been a long time. Yeah, the right strapping, do you smoke or drink alcohol? That can cause it to go up too. I've lost 20% of my lungs and claustrophobic and can't have anything over my face. Well, why did you use 20% of your lungs? Did you go to the doctor or what? What did, what did the doctor say? You've probably been smoking a lot, you know, just cigarettes. Let me get my dog in. Be right back. Yeah, you snuck upstairs, didn't you? Quit drinking 24 years ago and quit smoking 10 years ago. Right. Yeah, I do use a disabled vet. stuff got in your lungs then yeah brother I'm sorry yeah I got a few friends in, in the same situation it sucks so that gas got in your lungs yeah that sucks
Did they try to give you steroids to help? Yeah, Marco was in uh, Desert Storm in the Iraqi oil field crisis. Yeah, he was probably about his age. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, to help you breathe better, they probably should give you some steroids, and then maybe they should give you a inhaler. Maybe I don't know. But do you, what was your diagnosis? You got COPD. Most meds did done the opposite for you. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, water, the reason why they push that water when you're having high blood pressure is sometimes you're dehydrated. So that would cause your blood pressure to shoot up. Right. So you always gotta try your ABCs first. So Okay. Yeah, I was talking to Rush. He, he's got an inhaler, but most men did the opposite for him, he says. so. Yeah, some people have the paradoxal effects, so they can't take those medications. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I got a mess. I got my other. You guys see this one? No, oh, don't you be show and tell again. Here we go. <laughs> yep, here we go. See if I get it to focus here. There we this, go. This is an early release. Yep. Of course, MS70. Oh, geez, right. You need to go to the um, ER. You shouldn't be playing around with that. Whether it's the VA or the hospital, they, they'll take you regardless if you wear that mask or not because it's important. Yeah, but here's the trouble with the VA. They really don't do a whole lot on the VA side. Oh, I, I know I, they I don't, don't. I don't know who the right, I don't know who his doctor is, but. They don't. My brother is an ex military and he actually just goes to the regular ER. Right. Because of that. Right. Yeah. I would. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would go to just a regular, and yeah, not your, uh, I don't know, it's, I've heard stories, stories about the, and so. Yeah, my brother had broken, he actually had broken his hand, and they refused to give him pain meds, they refused to cast his um, arm, so he went to the hospital. Yeah, I had a, had a guy that went to the VA, I said, Dude, give up the VA. Go see a, another doctor. <laughs> I mean, the VA is just going to, here, here you go. Slap on the butt. Here's some medicine. Done. <laughs> yep. VA doctors are great, but with the symptoms that you're having right now, right, you should be in that regular hospital. You should be at the ER right now. It's not something to play around with because you're going to end up with a stroke. Yeah. I don't know what his, his pulse ox is, but... It, 98, 95 to 100 is normal. You get below that, then you may have something clogged, artery or something. You get below 9%, 95. It's hypoxia. Yeah, and all the rats of the hospital shit. Yep, I've heard that many times. 
Oh no. Well, I, I you got to do something because that is not good with the symptoms you're having. Ah. Last time I was in the ER, almost killed me. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the VA is all right, but I'll probably find another doctor. If you can, you know, I know being a veteran, you know, we get so many the VA doctors, but I would may go see somebody else. That's just my opinion. So I picked this up at the local auction too this week. Well, that one, the Ferry State Quarters, 99 to 08. DC US Territories Quarters 2009. And it's full. What's the Ferry State Quarters? I don't I don't get it. It because 2020 they did the America the Beautiful program. So what are these? State quarters. <laughs> All the statehood quarters. All right. It's full. Except for three coins. Yeah, that's my book. I got down to like three left, and that's it. It's hard to find. And most of those are 2011. Yeah. I need to clean this room up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Then I picked up these ones today. Yeah. Franklin half dollars. Yep. A whole bunch of stuff. So it'll be at my on my channel tomorrow night with those that stuff. Um Yeah, I seen you going live to that stuff they used to kill people that they were giving me with mix IV, but the mix ran out and I got stray. Like the stuff hurt so bad, but ripped the IV out and hit three nurses. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> well, it happens. What I can't. That? It's like a military uh, pin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's from the Navy. Not maybe. My camera doesn't want to focus. Yeah. Walked right out of there and the security came after me. <laughs> I know some people do the strangest things when they're put on meds. My dad happens to be one of them. He, um, They put him on Ativan and gave him some narcotics, and they were told not to do that. They still gave it to him because he went through surgery. And he almost um, he almost killed a couple of the nurses. This was in the Navy for eight years. I got this too today. Victorian brooch. Sterling silver. I hate meds. I do too, the rat trap, and I hate medicine. And just my opinion, I'm not going to get a COVID shot. That's just me. The wife got one. I'm not going to get one. I got mine. It was it wasn't as bad as you think it is. Which one did you get? The. I got the Piper. Oh, the, yeah. You didn't get the Piper, Johnson, yeah. Johnson one shot deal. Yeah. I, I would love the one shot deal, but um. Well, they're on pause right now. No, they actually, they're starting it back up. They gave the go-ahead, the green light, because uh, they figured out what was going on, and it only affects a small amount of people. Yeah, it was mostly women that were getting clots in the neck. 
well, it's actually certain women and certain, like, I forget um, everything behind it, but there was certain women it was affecting the most. And if they had that issue, they're the ones to get it. So they're telling you, if you have that issue, don't take that, that Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, I think the Pfizer is the best one to get, in my opinion. I don't, I'm not going to get one anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> you know, I hear a lot of ex-veterans, or not ex-veterans, but veterans, um, when they go into like nursing homes or hospitals and they learned different languages and something's going on or not right with them and they start speaking those languages, we know to get them checked real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. You don't want to talk Chinese or uh, Russia? <laughs> We're taking the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, Dolly, I'll ship a jelly bean. Just to you already seen it. And yeah, that's that's cool stuff that you picked up. Yeah, that's fine. What was funny, I went into the, the store, went in the pet smart. I said, where's the ferret food? And they said, well, it's over here in the aisle. It was like 10 to $20 for a big bag. And they oh said, my well, God. we don't sell ferrets, but go by next to Yaya's Island. They have a, a store over there that they actually sell ferrets and they have food. I'm like, okay. So I just picked up some treats. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like you had fun shopping for the stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was funny. The wife was having fun. Oh, you guys own par own ferrets? No, we don't own a ferret at all. <laughs> Just, and it was funny. My wife was trying to explain, you know, Jelly Bean won the, the wheel. <laughs> right. My YouTube channel. It was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's funny to walk in. Whoa, where's the ferret food? I don't have a ferret, but I need to buy stuff for a ferret. Right, but the thought I said parrot food. I said, <laughs> no, not parrot, ferret. <laughs> nice. So funny. Your wife is Japanese and you've been married for 30 years. Well, I hope you've learned her language. Yeah, Japanese, I don't, I know a little bit, but. Not a lot. It was, the only thing I learned basically was uh, count to ten in Japanese. <laughs> when oh, I was yeah, cool. I can't do that. I took French. I took Spanish. Spanish is better. It's a, more. It's. It did better with me, you know, taking Spanish. But of course, Mexico Spanish Tejano. You know that's that's all. And, and the wife, she's a uh, Italian, so. When she talks to her mom, I'm like, what? What did you say? What? What? <laughs> Those Italians are fun. Yeah. We have a resident that's Italian, and she's so funny when she gets mad. Oh, yeah, it is funny. <laughs> and then there, she's asking you, why are you laughing? I was like, well, you got to stop and see yourself for a second. Just, just watch yourself. Yeah, her mom. Her, her mom's from uh, Puerto Rico, and her dad's from... Uh, well, her mom and dad met over in Italy during the war, and that's how Jen came about. And but Jen didn't know her dad. Her legal dad thought that was her legal dad thought it was her dad, but come to find out, she had a whole other family over in Italy, and she has like seven brothers and sisters. We just met last year. Oh, wow. And it was funny because you can see Jen face, then meet, met her dad. And uh, he's he's a constable in Texas and an air marshal. And like, yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> you guys look just like. <laughs> we met. She didn't speak in English. Uh, so now you don't remember <laughs> Japanese. The only thing I remember from school was count to ten in Japanese. Ichini san, Ichini, what was it? I can't even remember now. Ichini san shoko, Google, not Google. Uh, Ichini san shi go worko, shichi hachi kuju. Yeah, that's what it is. One through ten. Yeah. 
I, I don't, I cannot, well, I, that, that'd be lying. I do know some French. I do know some Spanish. Right. Probably move France. Not from France. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you can cuss them out. In Japanese, right. <laughs> we had this lady. It was so funny. Nobody knew she spoke Polish until I went back and read her chart. And found out that's where she originally was from. And when her she got UTIs, she would cuss people out in Polish, and it was funny. I bet, yeah, I bet it was. I'm sitting there, I'm like, yep, she's cussing you out. Yeah. You no, know, a funny story we had uh, Douglas, uh, Jen's son, met a girl here, and uh, they met, and it was boyfriend, girlfriend. Well, their mom lived right down the road. And we went to uh, the church during a tornado warning. Mm -hmm. And, okay, we was there. We was hanging out. Well, her mother had a stroke that same night. And so we went to the ER. And, you know, we live rural. It's like 30 minutes to the nearest anything. And so the ambulance come 30 minutes later. went to the hospital. And the guy couldn't get – he was like a, a – I'm not sure what you call it, but he, he was like a, like an intern trying to draw blood from this girl. And he tried like five or six times. And I said, if you can't do no better than that, get somebody else in here. You know, I was kind of mad about it. She had a stroke. Well, she ended up dying from the stroke anyway. Well, the, the next year, the same guy, he remembered me. Well, they tried to call security in there on me because I was getting irritated with him trying to take the blood. Well, the next year... I got, uh, uh, what was it I called? I got, I, anyway, I got an infection and I had to go in there and I couldn't pee. Well, the guy come in there and said, we're going to give you a catheter if you can't pee within the next two minutes. I said, no, you're not going to give me one. That was the same guy I cussed out and got security called on me. I said, no, you're not going to give me a catheter. <laughs> right. Yeah. I said, no, you ain't. <laughs> But finally, I end, end up getting, you know, go to pee, and, you know, in the bathroom and ha have my test done for the urine. That's a good thing, because I, I heard that's not fun. But no, that guy remembered me, so I cussed him out, security got called. Yeah, he was like, yeah, we're going to give you a catheter. I said, no, you're not at all. <laughs> no, that's okay. I had somebody, I had a nurse one time. This is long before I became a nurse. But I kept telling him, you know, my ears hurt. Don't pull back on it. And what did he do? He pulled back on it and I punched him. Yeah. I was like, I, I know I have an ear infection and it's bad. So he got what he what I told him he's going to get if he did it. Yeah, my buddy at work just had one this week. And the last time he, he got like clear drainage come out of his ear. Ooh. And uh, he put it off for two weeks. I said, Chuck, you better go in and get that checked. And I said, I bet you got a you got a puncture in your eardrum. Yeah, that, that <laughs> usually happens. That. Yeah. Well, it's twelve thirty, so I'm gonna get off here. The migraine has not gone away yet, not fully. So, and I'm starting to get sick. So. Yeah. I, I will talk to you later. Sorry. All right. All right, Noah. Good to see you. Take care. It was good to see you. All right.